Oh, yes, now we drift back in time to that time. Oh, you see that circle of hands, circle of hearts, fixed in that one place of beginning. The tribe of life united in these, oh, 14 or so beings gathered around a campfire, a burning fire made of fire, wood, and flame, surrounded by a circle of rock, stone people that retain the heat and pass it on gently to the people who warm themselves in more ways than one as they circle that fire. Their eyes join in the flames, their hearts too, beaming into a new form of creation from the smoldering fires of the burning flame, the creation of life again and again. The projection then into the future of what already has passed. Now we see the path of the divine at last, the flow in the glow of the flame that melts away the illusion from our heart and satisfies the ancient sense of isolation that has driven men and women insane for ages without end. But then it always does bring them back together again one way or the other in the continual flow of the flame, the fire that never burns out, that doesn't consume. The flame that just is forever glowing, shining the red-gold light of the pure sun. The Sangredi Cristo it's called here in the West, man. Whatever it's called there, that's the best. The primary energy of life, light, love, that which energizes the water into the presence of the organic presence and unites it with the universal heart of creation. That surrounds us, of course. There at that campfire of love, experiencing the love of the life that will be, that already is, that has already been, that has just begun, right there in that moment. Ooh. And there is no sun divided from us just yet, just the fire of life burning. We created that, the flame of our heart joined in the sun fire of love. Later we would allow it to arise and be the sky above, and the blue or the gold green within it, however age or generation you happen to live in. One time it was actually a purple haze. I think Jimi Hendrix saw that one time. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. That's what he's really singing there. That purple haze. There was a time when the sun shined bright in the sky and made it purple. It was a pretty enlightened time too because you could see the red gold in everything there, man. It was awesome, man. All these ages and generations past that you're starting to remember little glimmers of now. Yes, indeed. We help you awaken the ancient egg that's lied there in your heart and waited for its time of hatching, sprouting, blossoming. Yeah, the amazing love. The warm heart of the divine. Yeah, that's all it takes. One little dose, man, and you got the most already, man. And, there you are, growing back into a real life, a real person, a real presence, who's ready to serve in whatever way they're needed when called forward by the heart to be that, whichever it is to be. And be doing that, too, because that's what blossoms do, man. They shine bright and be colorful and just help everybody else feel good about themselves, man, you know. They're the... Expression of the solar energy given in the earth way, a reminder of the true spectrum of humanity, what you really represent there, and your own blossoming, you see, and watch it spread across the universal sky. Baby, see, that's you, that's I, that's all of us, sitting at that campfire of love back there in them ancient days, which are right now. You see, if we can experience it, it is. And if it is, then it is. And then it is be. 
Because that's what we feel, that's what we see, that's what we are. United at that campfire, creating the flame of love. It creates this world around us out of its vapor. Yes, indeed. The transformative flame. Yes, indeed. That now we retrain back into our heart. Absorbing that flame, finding us to be the fire. The heart to be the center. The goal love. Which is simply glowing and growing from right there. Surrounded by that little circle of rocks, stone people. It cannot contain her, can only define her, help her define herself, the glowing heart. And through the crystalline love, bring forward the images in which we live, the forms, the spectacular wonder of our own true flowing nature, described to us from them ancient days, from those few souls gathered in the heart. Same way we are right now, it's a replication in a coyote sort of way. We do it through the radio with a lot of different beings around the earth and there's circles everywhere joining of hearts. Like cells and atoms finding their right place and naturally forming together. You know, something happened and moved them far apart for a while and now they're just gathering back together automatically. The magnetism of love turned on inside brings everything back into poetic unison. The harmony of the heart given in the song of the heart as humanity begins to sing of its creation. <laughs> yeah, there's something to do with those old hobos sitting by their campfire there with those new clear eyes, man. Oh, I'm telling you, it's atomic, baby. It's radiation from 9,000 feet high in the Rocky Mountain sky. Grandpa Coyote, you know, that you got that guy, man. Well, if, if, if you don't take off and fly, it ain't my fault, man. I certainly would. You should be flying out here right now and hang out with Grandpa. Help me stay warm here in the winter, man. Me and Oki, you know, we're isolated. No, I'm kidding, man. <laughs> what I really need is a, uh, uh, oh, let's say about a month in, in, in a grass shack on a beach in an isolated place in Hawaii, quiet preferably, but I don't know. It's all so crowded now. Maybe we don't want to go there. Maybe Mexico better. But whatever you guys highly recommend, I'll be there, okay? Just got to have provisions for me to be able to do my radio show from there, too, you know. And we got to travel on the weekend when the show ain't on, man. So I guess that means I'd have to fly in somebody's jet. Well, it's a nice dream anyway, guys. I guess I can stay here on the mountain, enjoy the winter sunrises and sunsets and a little romping around in the snow and a little slipping and sliding. Wish I could find a set of three pinners about size 10 or nine and a half. I think 10 probably would have to be because my toes get pinched in those things if I don't get them long enough. Anywho, yeah, something like that, man. Three pinners and they snap right onto my little skis that somebody gave me from the free box and I can go, uh, you know, slipping and sliding a little easier in the snow, have a little fun with it, don't you know? Then again, I don't know. I'm so lazy nowadays. I like sitting by the fireplace and just watching the sunrise, you know, you know, rocking your little heart out and chattering down and dancing around and just, you know, being the foolish little love bunny that I am, coming back to life right along with you, see. We still remember that old campfire, we do. It's imprinted in our heart like genetics, only more so. It's spiritual, don't you know? It's the energy of love. The beginning never goes away. We're just a replication of that beginning, each one of us. It's beautiful. Because each one has a unique place here, and all we're finding it, see? It's the rearrangement of life as we know it. And like pieces in a puzzle that were oddly fit together and weren't comfortable with it, well, baby, now you're going to be as this world turns a bit and the people in it and things change quite powerfully. And you start to fit together with your reality in a more natural way. All of this, from top to bottom and inside out and upside down and backwards and forwards too, man, all that. It's all the directions joined inside of you, the energetic flow of love. 
the creative life conscious, creative life arising inside of each human being that lives, man. It's, you know, um, uniting energy. Yeah. Because then you start to know your togetherness with all hearts. Like I said, this is how we change all the ways of the past and put together a life that's livable at last. And not only livable, quite enjoyable too. We allow the harmonic of vibration of union which shatters illusions inside ourself first and foremost dissolves away any indifference, anxiety, pain dissolves into feeling heart glowing heart like the sun, like the flame the sun represents. Huh. But see, we bring it now back into us. The same as they withdraw the flame from the fire there. In the circle of love in the beginning. And we begin to shine like the sun from inside. We realize our life in this way. And the image, the illusion, the eclipse is dissolved away. It's a real life we live, you know, day after day. I mean, shuckies. From here on out, yeah. Baby, watch out. Here comes the mother of love in your little form, babies. You know, it's a storm. It's got a real calm center in it. Nobody can get away from the calmer part of it, man. When you show up, they're happy, man. I don't care. You know, you'll see, you know... Some of the most miserable beings dancing around in your presence because they're just happy. Life just comes back together, starts to make sense, just because you're hanging out. So don't be afraid to go out after you got yourself a little absorption time. Hell, have a good time with it, man. Get out there and rock their hearts. Be the mischievous little coyote you are, man. Just let them feel it. Let them see it. And if they try to overwhelm you, well, just... Let the love hold them back, man. They can't help themselves. Everybody's in love with love when they find it for real. See, not many people even know how it feels. We've lived in kind of a creative reality with a lot of superficiality to our feelings, whether we know it or not. You know, a lot of obsessive tendencies that, you know, yeah, they're a flow of love in some ways, but ooh, ooh, it could get out of hand, couldn't they? And they seem not to have a deep enough root. Everybody was kind of in pain for that, trying to gain that rooting, you know, because it seemed like we just didn't have it, you know. That was our chosen illusion, the separateness from nature and mother. This is nature, of course. But given in the nature of the flow of the heart, the way of creation, the way of the innocent love that's so pure, could never let go of itself, no matter how badly it imagined itself to be. It could just hang on, keep breathing, keep going through it, let it happen. Knowing deep inside it won't destroy you, no matter what goes on here. It's an experience. Seasoning, a deepening of the soul presence of the heart through kind of the kind of the darkest experience we could create, out of which can come the most powerful hearts ever given, innocence, and the hands of creation in that innocence. That's the togetherness we feel now, for all forces are in union. Here in this moment of time, all directions and energies and powers join within us, as persons, earth, as the center particle of creation, which we reflect, of course, replicate. <laughs> nice to be alive and living in times like these and being able to rock and roll a little bit, have a little freedom of heart, don't you know, be able to live. Despite all the craziness going on around you, being able to live, to be all right inside of yourself and know 
But the flow around you changes because of it, man. You just watch it. Just watch and see what happens in your presence, you know. Of course, you can feel it already. You're living it. It's a beautiful thing. Now, don't forget, take a little MJ. Well, if you can legally, now, take a little MJ along the way, man. You know, you've got to be uh, present. And she'll make sure you stay there, you know. And if you can't do that, well, you've got the energy of her right now. Just, just remember how that feels and return to that feeling. You see, that's what it's known of as being high, but it's just really being the ability to feel your heart, to get over the resonating shock that seems to have gone on there forever, and kept it kind of whew, obliterated inside for a while. Though we could certainly feel enough of it, eh? Be a lot more strong today, man. So, you know, you'll be like the innocent little girl sometimes there that when I posted the video of a couple of days ago, little girl in Thailand suddenly discovered that, you know, if she extended her hand, big bullies just BAM fell away from her and hurt themselves flying away from her, you know. She could incapacitate him with the will of her heart. See, you'll be kind of like that. It's a real surprise when it starts flowing through you in your creation. Hopefully it won't be in a dramatic situation like that. It'll just be where you realize like you are right now. You feel the flow of it. And you just expand. You know, there's little steps in understanding. You just expand to each one of them, you know, step by step. And let it regenerate from inside of you. Don't worry about it. anything that you felt as a separate part of yourself etc. Inside, watch as it just starts to naturally fit together. The puzzles know their place, the puzzle pieces know their place. If you just let them reassemble. The heart's there, the divine intelligence is the hand of love that's really putting it all back together again. The painting that it's already created in those primitive times around that campfire of love. See, it's through absorption. Acceptance is another way of saying it, of the true reality that we become it. We just absorb it back into ourselves. We no longer live outside. We live all together within here and united with all life because there's no way you could contain it all in here, yet it is. Isn't that amazing? Amazing how we can live, how we can rock, how we can row, how creative we can be in the most simple and divine sort of ways. Yeah. <clears throat> Babies, I love you so here on this Coyote Medicine Show. Got a little bubbly medicine mold for you as we continue the flow. Here on the Hazy Radio Ooh, Network, more to get it clear. Tune in here, dear Will. Love sweet calls. And in the face of beauty, evil was lost. <laughs> 